today in my kitchen. Let's do together ada pradaman. Let's have a look at the ingredients. You need ada. Now this is a store bought ada. I, I didn't make the fresh one. This is the store bought ada, which I have taken half cup. Okay. And then we need some jaggery. I might add like this two pieces. And after seeing it, maybe I'll add one. I have some dry cashew. Uh, I have here raisins as well as some cashew here. Then cardamom, dry uh, ginger, quarter teaspoon of the fried cumin, and I have here freshly extracted coconut milk. This is the first extract of one cup, and this is the second extract of the one and a half cup. Now, first we have a process of cooking this ada. Um, uh, what I'm going to do is just wash it well and put some hot water and boil this well till the ada is cooked well. I have added enough of hot water and I am allowing it to, uh, the ada to boil well till the ada is cooked okay. So in case if there is more water that you need, you need to add hot water and give and ensure the ada is cooked well because once you add into the jaggery pakam, you cannot uh, expect the ada to cook then. So cooking the ada rightly at the beginning stage is very very important. I am powdering the Measuring about one and a half cup. As I said, two, one and a half to two cups you can add. It's up to you. If you like your paisam to be more sweet, you will add one and a half cup to two. If you feel you don't like it very sweet, just cut down at one cup. And I have kept half cup of water in a pan, in a pot, and that's boiling there. I'm adding this into that half cup. So another half cup more, and I am boiling the jaggery water. I've added half cup of normal water there and to it I have added the jaggery water I have melted. Now I am going to melt this well. In the meanwhile you see this ada is getting cooked here as well. Okay, melted well. Pass it through a sieve so that if there is any impurities it comes out. And I forgot to show you in the list that I might be adding one or two tablespoons of the uh, sugar as well. Offing the flame for the jaggery. I'm going to uh, filter this and pour some cold water and keep so that the uh, cooking process of the ada stopped and uh, we don't want it to stick to each other. So that's the only reason that I've been doing it like that. At least about two to three tablespoon of the ghee. Since I don't like much of ghee, I just added one tablespoon and one tablespoon of the oil I have added. Okay. And now I'll be adding in the ada to this. And nicely mix the ada well. In the meanwhile, powder the cardamom and let me pound even the dried ginger and keep it ready. This has got mixed well. Now I'm going to add in the jaggery pulp water what we had kept for. I'm going to add the entire jaggery water. Okay. And now I'll keep stirring it here and there and ensure this jaggery starts to become thick here okay in the meanwhile i am frying the cashew and the raisins golden and i am taking it out the sugar will a little bit cut down the pungent effect of the jaggery Also, it will give a nice color for the paisa. That's the only reason that we are adding the sugar. Add in the second extract of the milk, okay? And then 
I love this boil. Mix it very well now because after this once you pour the first milk we will not be boiling it at all. So the next milk what we add will be only to just add and mix it up and off the flame like. So now it has the milk has to really absorb into this ada everything well. See when you pour first time the milk how you found it watery like and then it was like um, a kind of white light -like was formed on top but now you see how it is becoming thick now okay I'll wait for another little more while and then I'll add the first extract see now how it's bubbling like now it's almost done like and now if I leave it more it will become like a uh, parkum like it will turn to become so this is a time now for me to add the first extract of the coconut milk okay mix it well add in the cardamom little bit of jeera as I said and the dried ginger okay off the flame now to it I'm going to add in all the fried cashew cashew all of it what we have fried and kept it well there we go and our poison is ready now don't worry about looking at it now a little watery like it is in a while when it cools down, it will go back to its consistency and become thick and you can really enjoy it well. This is how we have made the Adapradaman today. One of the best thing to enjoy it on a festival day. Try making it, you will really love. Thank you for watching me and happy cooking, happy eating. Bye bye.